Well, <laughs> um, officially, my pick of the week is the program we did about Libya. But since we just finished talking about food and these two young women in Pasadena, California, were so adorable together. And they just brought back so many wonderful food memories for me about Vietnam, even though I've never been there. But I have very strong associations with Vietnamese food through my first Wisconsin friend who is Vietnamese. Her name is Tan, and she lives in Racine. And uh, she sent me 12 tea roses um, and signed the card T-H-A-N-H. -H, and I thought, oh, it's an anonymous friend who sent me these flowers. And then she called me the next Monday and said, you get the roses I send you? <laughs> and we started this wonderful conversation, which turned into a friendship. And she invited my whole family to come and visit her. And I took her at her word. And that meant my mother, who was in a terrible state of depression at that time, and I had just moved her from New York. My two boys, one of whom was about, oh, he must have been about eight at the time. And the other one was around 16. And she had logos for the eight-year-old. She had videos for the 16-year-old. And she had this wonderful food for all of us, and she made us feel so much at home, and my mother came out of her funk for the first time that day. So I am celebrating my Vietnamese friend and the wonderful food that comes with her tradition, which you don't have to go all the way to Vietnam to taste. <laughs>